My name is Jared. I'm a precision farming specialist with Titan Machinery. And today we're going to go over some of the things and steps to get your auto guidance set up on your combine. The first thing we're going to want to do is navigate on our run pages to the screen that is dedicated to our auto guidance. Uh, this combine is run six. The first thing, once we have GPS signal, we're going to come over here and we're going to hit our start button and we're going to accept the liability warning. Once we do that, the screen is going to tell us to move the wheel and what that does is that basically tells the combine that the steering steering sensor and valve are fully operational and it reads correct voltages. So I'm just going to slightly move the wheel left and right and after that we're going to have to move the combine to show the GPS which way it's going. After we have established a heading for the GPS, we're going to come up to our headliner and we're going to press and hold the auto guidance enable button. And we're going to do that for about three seconds until we hear that beep. After that, we're just going to follow the screen prompts. So once all that is set up, we come back to our run page that is dedicated to our grower farm and field. And we want to make sure that our grower farm and field are all set up before we make a new swath. We can come back to our GPS page, and from there, we're going to make our swath. Now, we're going to go over two different types of swaths. Uh, one is going to be a classic AB line swath, and the next one is going to be a heading or a A plus swath. So the next thing we're going to want to do after our grower farm field is set up is come up to our swath one recorder. Most of the time, that's going to be on your main GPS screen. From there, depending on what type of swath you want to do, Right now we're going to demonstrate a straight AB line. So we'll come up to our type, we'll click on straight. Straight is going to auto populate. Um, for this demonstration I will show the multiple different uh, options we have, but we're just going to go back to straight. And right here if you're sitting, once you're sitting in your beginning point, you're going to mark A. And then it's going to populate to mark B. We're going to drive, usually from from one end starting all the way to the other end. For this purpose, we're just gonna go a little ways and we're going to mark our B. After that, it's gonna say ready to engage. So all we have to do is hit our ready to engage and we are auto steering. Now the second guidance line we're gonna go over is gonna be a heading. Now this is gonna be the same concept. You go into your type and you hit heading. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow you to mark A and then you can do custom degrees from where you're sitting at. So if you want to go straight north, you just click on north, east, same thing for south and west. What we're going to do now is I'm going to be sitting in this field and I want to go combine my soybeans at an angle. So I'm going to go, I'm sitting at the angle I want to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit set to current. Now it's going to ask me if I want to change swaths because I had a previous swath already selected. I'm going to hit yes. and that will automatically create guidance lines based on the degrees that I am facing. So all we have to do is begin moving. And once we begin moving, all we do is we hit our auto engage and we are now traveling at the desired angle that I wanted. As far as activating or engaging your auto steer, there's two options uh, depending on your combine make and model. On this particular one, we can either hit auto engage on the monitor or on the propulsion handle, there's an auto steer button and that is gonna be on the late 30s, 40s, and 50 series combines. On anything prior to that, the 8010s, um, 120s, and early 230 series, if you double click the shift button on the back of your propulsion handle, that will also activate your auto steer. That's all we have today for auto guidance tips and tricks. Uh, if you have any other questions, please contact your local Titan Machinery. Thank you.